Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Carful. This episode is all about safety. So, when you are working on the suspension of a car, it is very important to do it right. Therefore, it is always necessary to know the right torque specs of the screw, screws and bolts and that you mark them when you fasten them so that you're always sure that you didn't forget any of them. Because of that, I will provide you with most of the torque specs of the rear suspension of the Corvette C3 of 1976. Uh, you can find them on the internet also, but sometimes it will take days before you, all, before you find them all. So I put them all together here just like I found them for everyone to use them. Hope it will help at least some people and I hope you like the video. Stay tuned. So here we have the specs for the Corvette from 63 to 79 pinion bearings pinion bearing if it is a new between 14 and 19 inch lbs if they are used between 6 and 8 inch lbs the backlash in thousand of an inch between 6 and 10 the ring gear bolt torques 55 and foot lbs and the bearing cap should be torqued to 60 foot LBS. Same specs, but another table. You can freeze the screen so you can save it for yourself. Here we have the specs for the nut on the drive shaft, shaft yoke or the yoke of the pinion. Uh, 18 to 22 inch pounds. On used gears, it is 15 to 17 inch pounds. So about the pinion load, how you can measure it. And it should not be uh, more than 18 inch pound. Uh, do not over, over tighten this nut because the bearing could seize. And the crush sleeve too. Raise the cross member with the attached differential with a floor jack and torque it, torque the bolts to 70 feet LBS. Torque the four bolts of the leaf spring to 100 feet LBS or 135 Newton meter. After placing the plates in the posy case, you should check the resistance when turning it around. It shouldn't be any greater than 45 to 50 feet LBS. There is a link in the description below to a fantastic video that will help a lot. The hex head retainer bolt of the pinion gear shaft should be torqued to 120 inch LBS. And I should advise to use some Loctite, some red Loctite too. Here's some more um, torque specs for the C3. And I had to uh, use it for the differential case bolts. Here we have some more details in the torque specs of the complete suspension, the rear suspension of the C3. And as you can see, I uh, converted um, a lot of them to Newton meters, side axles, 14 Newton meter here in this case. Here you have some more diagrams and tables that you can freeze and save when you need it.
So this is again a wrap for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Find us on Facebook and on Instagram. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on any new future videos because there is a lot of new content coming your way in the near future and very soon. So stay tuned for those and thank you all for watching.